What I have here isn't very unique or interesting, but it is a milestone in my quest to develop music software. I've been working for the past six weeks on this tracker style sequencer. If you're familiar with trackers, you may already have an idea of what some of this stuff does, except perhaps this button. We'll find out what it does later. Anyway, over on the left are my patterns. I'll go ahead and create one. Clicking on it loads it into the editor. If I select a channel, the parameters for that channel are populated below. I have a few simple instruments available to me. I'll select this percussive instrument. I'll go ahead and add note triggers using the keyboard. This plays the current pattern. I'll up the tempo. I can also record using the MIDI controller, and it'll quantize to the nearest subdivision. The generators expose parameters which can be changed with the mouse or via MIDI control. I'll make a copy of this pattern and change it around a bit. Now I can drag these patterns over to the playlist to build a song. This plays the playlist. Finally, I can save my song to a file. If we look at the file, it's a very simple file format, which I can edit in any text editor, so long as I'm careful. Overall, it's a meager offering, but it does provide the bare minimum of features in order to make music. Here's a chippy tune I made earlier. Before I play the rest, let me show you what this button does. This is an embedded Quartz Composer patch that my software communicates with to visualize the sequences. I'll leave you with this unnecessary visualizer. Thanks for watching.